On Tuesday 5 February, a little known businesswoman, Annie Mongoma, whose stint as a rally driver is now probably faded in memory, launched this beauty contest at a hotel in Kampala, Uganda. It is called the Miss Kavi Beauty Pageant. The event did not attract much attention until the videos were uploaded on YouTube and later shared widely on social media. There was a storm with women activists up in arms criticizing the organizers for objectifying women. However, the CEO, Miss Kavi Uganda Annie Mungoma says the criticism is unnecessary and misinformed. She says the critics don't understand the concept of Miss Kavi beauty contest. Just like any other beauty pageant, Miss Uganda, Miss Tourism and all, now here comes Miss Kavi with the main objective of celebrating the real plus size ladies. She says the contest gives Kavi and well and old ladies an opportunity to showcase what they have and their other abilities. They're special bodies, okay? We want to portray a lady as a lady, but yes, this lady can come out and show you that she's beautiful. She's a Ugandan, she's a Motoro plus size. It does not make you daft that you cannot reason. It does not ma make you a person who cannot be of addition, of value, addition to the society. Mungoma argues that the Miss Kavi pageant is not any different from the Miss Uganda contest that has been held for over 20 years in Uganda. In these contests, preference seems to be for skinny and tall women. How come when we are having these pageants for the slim bodied, they, they, that is not prostitution? Why are they rejecting the curvy the curv ladies? While the fuss has centered around objectifying women as a tourism attraction, Mongoma says her project is not just about tourism, but more importantly, allowing curvy women to express themselves and not feel as though they are good for nothing, killing their self esteem. And that kind of negative publicity is still going to put those people behind there. There are many girls who, are, who do not have self-esteem because of their in old bodies. They don't even know the bodies are good. However, State Minister for Tourism, Godfrey Chiwanda, who launched the Miss Kavi Uganda contest, emphasized that the ladies would help in promoting Uganda's tourism. In our dances, when we dance, when you see us spreading our arms, they always, we spread them. There is a story behind this, where we spread our arms. When you say Uganda woman, concentrating on the West, the West, there is a story about that. And that's the story we sell. That's the tourism. Some ladies who took part in the event said they felt proud to show what they had. It is part of uh, what God endowed us with. We are naturally endowed heritage-wise, color-wise, beauty-wise. To have them and I appreciate that I have them. I appreciate that God gave them to me. Only the slim people, but also for the fat. Oh, okay, I mean, not fat, the fat is not proper, but the plus-size people. Meanwhile, a group of legislators under the Uganda Women Parliamentary Association have demanded the cancellation of the Miss Kavi contest and an apology from the junior tourism minister. I want to call upon leaders to help denounce this kind of, event, of events. I think Honorable Chiwanda deserves, actually we say, you must, we are not demanding for an apology, you must apologize. We strongly condemn the act by the Honorable Minister. I therefore demand for an apology from the Minister. The MPs and other activists asked the minister to find other ways of promoting tourism instead of reducing women to tourism attractions. Things. This country is blessed, very many green vegetables everywhere. He could talk about those. Why is he zeroing down on women? Does it mean his mind is female-centered? Honorable minister, if I could get you. However, Mongoma vows to proceed with the pageant until the winner is announced. Just like any other winner, we have programs for them, humanitarian programs, we, targeting women and children, okay, in terms of health, in terms of social life and all. These people champion those kind of causes because of their title. The Miss Kavi contest has been held in other parts of Africa, including Nigeria, South Africa, Namibia, Kenya and other continents. The latest contest was held in India as Miss Kavi World. Jumakiria, NTV.